A dark chapter in history unfolded within the heart of Africa. A little more than a century ago, it was a tale of greed, exploitation, and unimaginable suffering centered around the figure of King Leopold II of Belgium. Stay tuned to know the story of how his insatiable hunger for power and wealth led to the deaths of millions of Africans. King Leopold II ascended to the Belgian throne in 1865. A charismatic ruler with grand visions of expanding Belgium's influence and amassing a personal fortune. With the advent of the Industrial Revolution, the demand for rubber and other natural resources skyrocketed, offering immense opportunities for those who could control their extraction. Leopold, driven by an insidious ambition, saw the vast untapped resources of the African continent as his ticket to untold wealth. Under the guise of philanthropy and humanitarianism, he devised a plan to establish his personal colony in Africa, the Congo Free State. However, the reality was far from free or just. Under the rule of Leopold, the Congo Free State became a hell on earth for the local population. The population of Congo fell from 20 million to 10 million. This should be enough to give our viewers an idea of how severe the exploitation was. And yet many people are not familiar with the horrors of King Leopold's rule, which still impacts the region till this day. In the late 19th century, European powers were scrambling to colonize Africa to exploit its resources and people for their own economic interests. Leopold, a cunning ruler and a shrewd businessman, disguised his true intentions by presenting himself as a benefactor, claiming that his mission was to civilize and uplift the people of the Congo. He established the International Association for the Exploration and Civilization of Central Africa in 1876, an organization that sought to exploit Africa's resources while masking their true intentions under the guise of bringing Christianity to the people of Africa. However, the Belgian ruler was not only motivated to build his own personal wealth and power, but also saw black people as inferior to the Europeans due to a deep-seated racism. In 1879, he sent explorer Henry Morton Stanley to explore and map the Congo Basin. Stanley not only established the trade agreements and alliances, but managed to get Leopold control over the region and its resources. In 1885, Leopold established a colony covering over 9,000 square miles. Not just this, but he didn't claim the vast property as a Belgian colony, rather as his own private estate. Soon the reign of terror unfolded in the heart of Africa. Under Leopold's command, a ruthless system of forced labor, brutal violence and enslavement was imposed upon the Congolese people. Villages were raided, families torn apart, and countless lives lost in the pursuit of rubber and ivory. Leopold's primary interest was rubber, and the Congolese were subjected to extreme violence including mutilations and killings, as a means of coercing them into meeting impossible rubber quotas. He also forced them to mine for copper and diamonds under horrible conditions and pocketed the profits from this trade. The construction of the Mata di Kinshasa railway claimed the lives of thousands of locals due disease and starvation. Leopold also maintained his private army to enforce his rule, and they were said to have committed horrific acts of violence against the Congolese men, women, and children. Keep watching to find out how Leopold's reign of terror came to an end. News of the atrocities committed in the Congo eventually reached the outside world, as the Congo Free State became known as a place of unspeakable atrocities. Brave journalists such as Edmund Dean Morel and Sir Roger Casement began to uncover the horrifying truth behind Leopold's benevolent facade. The stories of forced labor, brutality, and death shocked the international community and led to a growing outcry for justice. As pressure mounted, the Belgian government was forced to take action. In 1908, the Congo Free State was annexed by Belgium, and Leopold's personnel colony came under state control. The true extent of that suffering was revealed, and efforts were made to dismantle the oppressive system that had caused so much devastation. The legacy of King Leopold's reign of terror would forever haunt the African continent. Over 10 million lives were being lost, families torn apart and communities decimated. The scars of that era would take generations to heal. In the aftermath, the Congolese people struggled to rebuild their shattered lives. Their journey towards independence and self-determination would be long and arduous. However, the spirit of resilience and the quest for justice remained strong. Today, the story of King Leopold's brutal exploitation is remembered as a reminder of the darkest aspects of colonialism. It serves as a cautionary tale, 
a stark warning against the unchecked pursuit of power and wealth at the expense of human lives. The story of King Leopold, a man who killed over 10 million Africans, stands as a solemn reminder that the pursuit of justice, equality, and respect for all human beings is a responsibility that we must uphold. It is a story that must be told and retold so that we may learn from the past and strive for a better future.